Recording live from the Northeast Georgia Business Radio X studio, this is Northeast Georgia Business Radio. Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to another great edition of Northeast Georgia Business Radio. I'm your host, Tom Sheldon. Yes, we're coming to you live from the beautiful Empower College and Career Center of Jackson County. Have with me a great guest, one I'm thankful we got in here. We've been working on this for months. Very busy lady, Miss Lisa Stevens. Welcome, Lisa. How are you doing? Thank you. It's great to be here. Legacy Thanks for youth, having me. I'm talking. I'm sorry. I'm talking to Legacy Youth Mentoring. Yes. So welcome to the Northeast Studio. It is a great day to be in the Empower College and Career Center. It's a great place to be. <laughs> welcome, though. You're a little nervous. That's okay. We're going to get through that. Yes. We're going to have a lot of fun doing this because what you do is super, super important. It is. It makes a big difference in the lives of a lot of young people in our community. I started with Legacy Youth Mentoring um, back in 2005, so it makes me feel pretty old to know that this is our 19th school year. 19 years. That I've been working with kids um, nice. through mentoring, mentoring myself, and then also starting as a volunteer coordinator and growing through the different aspects of this program that was founded by our community. Now, you are somewhat of an original founder, though, because you, yes. you started a nonprofit. Right. And, but And it m morphed or something into this. This program was actually started out of Jackson County Family Connection. Right. Um, because they did a community assessment back in 2004. Mm -hmm. And at that time, Jackson County had you know very high teen pregnancy rate. The graduation rates were not what they wanted them to be. Sure. Um, and so they were asking the community, what do we need? And school counselors said, you know, we just need some caring people to come in here mm -hmm. and spend time with kids and just become their friends friends, become a guide and encourager. And so out of that, um, Family Connection started what was originally called Lindsay's Legacy Mentoring. Okay. Um, and then it's kind of um, transitioned into Legacy Youth Mentoring over the years, just easier to kind of say and get the point across. I, I like so, it. It, yeah. it. To me, yeah, there, it leaves no doubt. You work within the schools, yes. physically work within the schools. Yes. Let's preface that, the Jackson County school systems. And yes, the, the the three, the county <laughs> and the two cities. We, yes. yes, folks, we have three here: Jackson County, City of Jefferson, and City of Commerce. Yes, but you physically work inside the buildings. Yes, and these children. Our mentors work inside the buildings, which is turned out to be so. There's there's a lot of different ways that people can mentor kids. Sure. They can do them informally. They can do formal mentoring. So ours is what you might call a, like a friendship based. Um, and it's, it's a in school mentoring program. So what we found is that this type of mentoring feels like safe for people. Sure. Um, so especially if they're just getting started with, mm -hmm. okay, I want to give back to kids. I know there's a lot going on with kids in the world right now. And we're hearing about, you know, loneliness. We're hearing about increased amounts of anxiety in kids and all these different needs that we hear about. How can we help? And being able to mentor inside of a school building is a great place to be. I think We give be. you the tools. Yeah. Um, we help you. Um, and the kids want to be mentored. So that's like a win-win. I think it's perfect because, mm -hmm. what, nine months out of the year, this is where the children are. Right. And when I train people, I say, you know, really, we're here to be, our purpose is to be an extra caring, supportive adult. We're, we're not taking the place of parents. We're just there to be like a great cheerleader, mm -hmm. a check-in person. And then it, it also gives people a chance to get connected in their schools, which is the heart of a community. Right, right. People have said to me so many times, I feel like I'm getting out getting more out of this than what I'm giving because mm -hmm. it's, it's a reciprocal situation when you mentor. Absolutely. absolutely. You know, you, you mentioned a safe place. I don't care what age you are. If you're not comfortable where you're at physically, where you're at mm -hmm. a whole different set of emotions, right? You're, you're worried where you are. You may even be scared. Mm -hmm. Let's hope the children are comfortable at school. Yes, they should be right. That, and that should be unsaid. Yes. And one of the things that we teach in our training, we give a lot of different tips and tools. I was about to ask you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we train. So if someone wants to be a mentor, it's, you know, they fill out an application. They come to one training. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes. We give you a lot of information, school orientation, but then we give you some tips. And one of the things that we talk about is 40 developmental aspects, the, the 40 developmental building blocks for kids. And so we talk about 
these building blocks, and it was uh, there was a lot of research done through Search Institute. They uh, have research done this research on over a million kids now. These are it, it's, there's a book called What Kids Need to Succeed, and so you can take a look at that. It's a great book. But some of the building blocks that are in there that we actually help with, you're an extra supportive person. Mm-hmm. So kids that had three or more non-parent adults were more successful. I've heard that, um, I've heard that before. Mm-hmm. And then a caring school climate. So here you are, you know, what what says caring school climate better than knowing someone's coming just to check on me. Right. Um, and then the mentors also get to be in that safe place where kids feel, I got you. you know, engaged. What are some of the impacts of mentoring, or we could actually go the other way with that. Mm -hmm. What happens when children aren't mentored? Mm -hmm. Yeah, kids are, I bet it's night and day. Well, you know, a lot of people don't, you know, mentor is a word that maybe years ago, people didn't even know to use it. Mentors are people that show us the ropes. They're good role models. They can be parents. They can be grandparents. Mm -hmm. They can be neighbors. They can be a lot of different things. So if kids don't have that supportive network around them, they just don't have the guides at important parts of their life. I think we can, when I talk to people about mentoring, I say, you know what? Think about your life as a puzzle and all those important parts where you you could see where I could have gone this way. I might have gone that way. I didn't know what to do, but somebody usually helped to guide you into the right way. Path. And if you didn't have those people in your life, then you're you are like one in three young people in the U.S. today, because the statistic says one in three are growing up without a mentor of any type, formal or informal. You mentioned something about uh, say twenty years ago. We didn't use mm-hmm. that word. I think we used it, but it was in a past tense. Mm-hmm. We looked back mm-hmm. when I was fifteen, when I was twenty. Pick a number. Mm-hmm. We looked, and that person was a mentor, and then that teacher was a mentor. Mm-hmm. We didn't really realize we were. We're receiving it. Right. Now it's been made a point. Right. Exactly. Which is a win, I think. Huge yeah, win. That's that's true. That's a great way to think about that. That, you know, we didn't really we use it in the past tense, right. like, oh, this person was really important. But yeah, that would have been a mentor, you know. And they were. Uh-huh. We just didn't realize it. And I tell the kids all the time, if they're a little bit leery now about, well, I don't know if I want to have a mentor or not. Like, guys, people pay for this now. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, they do. <laughs> they're they're yeah, paying they do. for coaching. They're paying for mentoring. You a lot get of coaches to have, out there. You get to have, you know, this opportunity to meet a really amazing person. So, um, What are the age groups, K, K through 12? Yeah, so we work with 20 schools now in Jackson County. Right. And they can pick. When someone comes to mentor, they get to pick the age of the student that they're most comfortable working with. So we we work with kindergarten all the way up to high school. And our program is designed where you can start with a student and you follow them through their grades. So the longer that you are in a a relationship with a student, of course, and that friendship, um, the more impactful mentoring is. I would imagine so. Um, And so we've now seen people, because of the length of this program in the community, who have started with a second grader and they've seen them graduate from high school and go on to college. That's a good 10 years with that child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a young man um, named Aubrey. He'll usually check in with me about once a year. I think he's starting his fourth year at UNG. Um, But he met his mentor, Mr. Joe, in middle school um, in sixth grade. And he was kind of one of those students that didn't want to talk or really look look people in the eye too much. Mm -hmm. Um, He spoke at our gala his senior year of high school and made everyone cry. He spoke in front of 300 people. That's awesome. Um, But he's a writer. Um, He's on scholarship to college. Uh, he's just an amazing man. And he says that Mr. Joe made such a huge impact in his life that um, he was the male role model that he needed. I love it. I don't mm-hmm. even know what to say after that. Yeah. <laughs> what are some of the downfalls? Of not having a mentor. Yeah. I want to, I want to really want to pound home. In a, yeah. Loneliness. This. Just is how important this is. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of the things that we see, um, there's so many things that we see and hear detachment in detachment from society yeah i think post covid you we had kids coming back into school that it seemed like a common thread was that they were struggling with friendship um and so that's a conversation like you can have that with your mentor like hey i'm struggling with making friends like how do i do this because right. what mentors do a lot of times is just share their life experiences yeah. you know yeah. um and we tell them to kind of let's go old school let's you know it's okay if you play paper football mm-hmm. um you go just do some fun things and find out what the student so we talk about like trying to find kids strength so if they don't have a mentor maybe they won't really learn and know what their strengths are and things that they're good at and so if the kids know their sparks and their strengths they can build upon those and those are stress relievers oh absolutely. If you could do something you love yeah but um so many times we'll ask 
you know, may ask a student, like, what's the best parts about you? And shockingly, they can't tell you those best parts about them. I, um, I was at an event recently, and that was one of my things that I asked teenagers, like, hey, give me one of your sparks. And it seemed like it was usually something like a sport. Mm -hmm. um, and I felt like they were missing that, wow, you know, I'm a thinker, or I really like to um, take care of people, or I'm a competitive person. So some of the different things that you might learn about yourself through a mentoring relationship. Makes sense. Uncover things that they just didn't realize were there. Mm -hmm. well, I got to admit, or I would think, and again, looking back on people who were mentors in my life, it's kind of nice to know that someone cares, mm -hmm. but they're not expecting anything in return. That's correct. Someone's come to talk to me or see me or do something, do anything. It might be something we, we consider trivial as adults, mm -hmm. but they're doing it because they want to, mm -hmm. not because they're going to try to get something out of it. Yes. That's really neat. It's huge. A lot of children don't understand that, especially the even even as teenagers, they don't understand that because mm -hmm. they've never been blessed with it. It speaks value to kids when they know yeah, it that changes them. someone is doing something. So we, I started hearing this common thread, a conversation with mentors. They said, hey, you know, those, my student asked me the funniest thing. Uh, she said, uh, how much are you getting paid to be here? And, um, and I said, oh, no, I'm not getting paid to be here. And then she, and she said, what? And she said, yeah, this isn't my job. And she's like, oh, uh -huh. okay. So she said, I'm a volunteer. I, I'm come because I, I want to get to know you and be your friend. And the one middle schooler said, how far do you drive to come to my school? And the lady said, 17 miles. She said, one way or two ways. And the lady <laughs> said, two ways. Um, so, you know, it really just speaks that like somebody is doing this just because they care about me. Right. Nothing in return that they they're want looking to do it. for. Right, yeah. Even as an adult, it's awfully nice. It is. <laughs> well, when I talk to people, I say, don't overthink it. You know, we do train you and all. But really, if you can be a friend, you can be a mentor. Right. I mean, how many of us don't feel like I feel refreshed if I get to go hang out with somebody that I know cares about me? Oh, absolutely. Um, if it's a short 30-minute cup of coffee, I walk away and go, okay, my day is going to be better. Yeah. You yeah. know? And that's kind of when we see their smiles on their faces when they're mentors. I was just at a breakfast this morning at West Jackson Elementary. We get a, do a little gathering for the kids when they are coming back to meet their mentors again. And we had donuts and um, fruit and all that. But their smiles on their faces when they they walked in and saw their mentor nice. for the first time probably since the summer. You see what's happening, right. you know. Well, those children may not have a lot to look forward to, some of them. Yeah. Knowing they're going to get to spend some time again with someone who actually cares about them. Mm -hmm. What do you mean you care about me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, unfortunately, that hits home. That's reality in, in some cases. Yes. And we are, you know, we're a program and ultimately, in my mind, if every student in the whole entire school had a mentor, it would be the absolute perfect world. That would be you cool. You know? That would be cool. Um, because we all need them. And that is my thing. We all need them. We, I need them as an adult. We all need that friend. Yes. Just looking, looking over us mm -hmm. with nothing to gain. If right. you step out of line, they might say something. Mm -hmm. Just because maybe they care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, let's get back to training. Mm -hmm. Someone wants to be a mentor. Right. What are they looking at? Mm -hmm. You, I think you mentioned an hour and a half. Is it so, just an hour and a half and you're ready to go, or is it so months? So we do. So the com we ask people to make a, a one year commitment to mentoring their student so in the school. So actually being the mentor. To being the mentor. Okay. Um, it's a thirty minutes, two to four times a month. So you can go every week for thirty minutes to the school, okay. or you can choose an every other week mentorship. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. And so that that sort of happened, you know, right around the time of COVID, is trying to figure out like, hey, would we rather kids have two great visits from a person that cares about them. Um, and so we offered that and it seemed like that has made it more accessible to some business folks. Gotcha. We have a lot of business people, uh, sure. a lot of a lot of companies that give and give their employees time to come and, and give back. So, um, and then they come to one training session, takes about an hour and 15 minutes. We've got a manual. We give them like school orientation, what the schools need, you know, confidentiality policies and mandated reporting and just things that we need to cover um, on that and how we are there to assist them in the journey. And then we talk about, we don't use a methodology. We, we don't use a curriculum. We use a methodology. So we're, we're expressing we have five main things that we sort of talk about, like expressing care, being present when you're with them, learning how to help a student learn the art of conversation. And so learning how to use open-ended questions.
question so can encourage them that talking goes back and forth. It's a two-way street. Get them to talk. Yeah. Sounds familiar. Yes. And so um, we do that. We talk about providing support, encouragement as part of that, being able to sort of separate worth from achievement. Um, You know, I see you as a person. And so we give them that. We talk about expanding generosity. So helping them learn how to be generous in friendship, connecting them to things in their schools that they may not know about. It might be clubs, might be a sport that they want to do, but we're feeling maybe not the confidence level. And so there's several tips and tools we give them. It's called our five to thrive. I got you. I got Mm -hmm. you. So no special degrees you have to. Okay. No special degrees. We just are looking for people who care about kids. And um, mentoring, it's so funny because there's so many different personalities we all have. A very quiet person, they might think, well, I'm kind of quiet or whatever. Mm-hmm. We give you things to do. You can play games to get conversations started. But right. that some sometimes they're the best mentors because guess what? They're great listeners. Yeah. Um, and so you'll likely get paired with a student that is going to talk your ear off. If this goes down a rabbit hole, I, I don't mean to. hmm are the volunteers at all trained to perhaps see signs of maybe something bad ha- yes, happening outside of the school? We do. Um, we, we, we do a bit of that. Um, we talk about, you know, suicidal warning signs and language. Yeah. Um, so that's one of the things we cover in our school orientation par- portion of. Maybe a sense of maybe we, if the child is being abused. Yes, that's neglected. under the mandated reporting. And so we say, you know, like exactly um, if there's something you're questioning, mm-hmm. then your school counselor is always your go-to. Okay. We don't expect you to be a counselor, right. but we right. you give you the resources. or the, They're right there at your fingertips. And that's what I was, wor- that's what I was know, wondering about. Walk them to take a little bit of education on that. Right, exactly. So we do give them that and answer like any that. of those I like questions. That. I like mm-hmm. that a lot. To be in this program, you have to be a student in Jackson County, more or less, mm-hmm. any of the school Proper. systems. Mm-hmm. How does a child get involved? Is it Does a teacher look at a child and say, hey, you may want to be part of the mentoring program? That's a great a, a question. Counselor. That's a great question. Uh, maybe I have a child. Maybe I'm a, uh, I'm a single dad with three, maybe four mm-hmm. children. Could be a single mom. And I know that at the end of the day, I'm not getting to all three or two, three, four of my children. Mm-hmm. Hopefully I'm an adult enough to admit that, but how does, maybe I want my child to get involved with, but how does that process work? Right. So that is a, that's a great question. Um, and all of the above, what you just said is all what can happen. <laughs> oh, and it does. Uh, yeah. oh, and it does. So we, it does. Um, I, we love it when parents request for their students to have mentors. And mm-hmm. so the process there is just to, for them to let the school counselor know that they want to sign their child up to be part of legacy youth mentoring. Now there, there may be a waiting list at their school. Sure. So because our volunteer, we have over, I forgot to say that we have over 260 volunteers working with kids. And in we school need 260 more. And we need a lot more because okay. there's always a waiting list at every school. So, good, good. you know, we um, so we need, we need more, we need more, we need more. We love it when parents are connected with us because, you know, we like to know from them, like what are some things you want to let your ment- the mentor know about your child? Right, right. And they can communicate that uh, many times they'll, want to you know meet them mentor at the school or just talk with them in that way but also they're identified through um, a school counselor maybe saying that oh something might be going on one thing about legacy is that we get to serve a lot of different types of needs it can be anything from my student is shy I tell people all the time I would have signed my youngest child up for a mentor because she had some school anxiety in first grade Mm -hmm. and every time I went to go comfort her she wanted me to take her home (laughs) and so a a mentor would have been perfect for her Mm -hmm. because they could have been that person to check in with her every week Um, but we've had military deployments where we've been able to serve we've had um, sometimes a family's going through a critical illness there may be somebody is uh, living with being raised by grandparents and grandparents love having extra people support and oh, help absolutely. them um, foster families um, we love for them to sign their kids up um, so really you know anybody that if you just feel like hey I want a little extra support we have fantastic mentors in this program so uh, I think anybody would benefit from requesting a mentor for their child do you think once a parent I think that the fact that the mentor meeting the parent vice versa I think that's key I think that's it's huge. huge do you think perhaps and again, I don't want to go down a rabbit hole. Do you think perhaps there could be a level of accountability knowing that my child has a mentor? I think it's a, it would be a great thing for a parent to know that their child has a mentor. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, I wanted to make sure my kids had mentors in their life. Mm-hmm. The and more positivity, the better. Exactly. Yeah. 
and it's somebody to talk to, you exactly. know, um, we, I think as when we're parents where we always have questions come up, none of us are, oh, yeah. have all the answers. So having another person ask, get some feedback on, Hey, what are you seeing? Right. We've had parents call and thank the mentors because, oh, that's awesome. Hey, you know, this that's happened awesome. at school and you happened to be there and you know, you had this great conversation with him and thank you so much for being there today. And so it's just been a great. Well, sometimes as, as kids get older, they become teenagers. Mom and dad are just not cool, and, and I'm not talking to you just because you're mom and dad. Mm, that can I mean, happen. That, that happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was probably guilty of that at one time or other. <laughs> if you were a teenager at one time, you were probably guilty of that yeah. at one time. But seriously, you yeah. open up that mentor, yes. that open line of communication. Yeah. It's huge. It takes a village, right? That's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> just depends on what village. All right. We're, this is uh, this is one of the big things why I wanted to get you in here. Let's talk about getting people to become mentors. Because, mm-hmm. like I said, we need 260 more. Yes. We needed them yesterday. Yes, and especially men. Really? We need more men. We have. Well, how do we do that? We Let's do it. So we need to send people to LegacyYouthMentoring.org. Okay. Okay. That's our website. And that gives them all the information they need, gives them a spot to fill out their application. Um, it gives them all the up- – coming training dates we have training at least two of them every month and okay. it doesn't stop every during other the week three basically. Year. Every, other week. every other week there's a training basically um and it doesn't stop uh, we go all through you know we might not have a, a training in april because that's our big event month um okay. but we like to get people started and trained all the time so if you're thinking well i got a lot going on right now but january is a good time then come January. Okay. Um, uh, but we would love to get you started and just the website will give you all the web, those details. The website is the way to do it. Way to do it. LegacyYouthMentoring.org. Mm-hmm. Dot org. That's important. Mm-hmm. Now, someone signs up online. What do they expect? They're going to get an email from me and I'll give them, you know, training dates. Um, okay. I'll remind them of the dates that are coming up and then they'll, they'll pick whatever date works within their schedule. And we do them different times, sometimes the morning, sometimes the lunch and learn. If I can go to a business, I love going to a business, just training. I'm going actually tomorrow night to a church nice. um, and they're feeding people. And I think I have about 20 people coming. That's awesome. And so, um, and they're coming from all around the community. They've opened it up to everybody. So I'm willing to go to you. Um, I also love to come speak to any clubs or groups and let you know more about mentoring so we can get this word out. When you say groups and clubs, churches, Rotarians, Rotarians, Kiwanians. Right, those types of things. Okay. Um, just sharing the information, um, getting it out. Communities there. like new communities in the in the area, like HOAs. Um, I went to well, I mean neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just HOA went, for lack of a better right, term. Yeah. yeah, I just went to a volunteer f- uh, fair at Crestwinds, the fifty five plus. Nice. And uh, it was a wonderful day, and we've already had some of those folks join us That's as perfect. mentors. So. I'm excited about Crestwind coming to town. I, mm-hmm. I know there may be some pushback from a few folks, but I, I think had, it's going to be great. I had a great time I with don't them. doubt that for a second. <laughs> I don't. I'm going to go hang out with them. Yeah. It's going to be great. I told my husband we were moving there in a few years. <laughs> Save those pennies. Save those pennies. Awesome. All right. Well, we, we've got to get people involved. They need to go to the website, LegacyYouthMentoring.org. Dot org. And then you'll get in touch with them. Mm-hmm. But the training, if, now you mentioned you would go to them, which is really cool. If I'm going to become a mentor, where do I go for training if I come to you? If you come to me. So they're uh, they're listed on the site. I've, okay. There's a local church. It's local, though. Right. It's local. It's not in Atlanta. I try to do or, Jefferson area okay. because it's central to the sure, area. Sure. So, um, you know, I think... Um, Last week I had one at Hope Crossings Church right okay. off of Old Pendergrass Road. I'll be tomorrow night in Nicholson. I'm going to be back at Hope Crossings in another week I'm doing another one, and it's right cent- right near the Kroger. So gotcha. it's very centrally located there off of 129. That's perfect. Um, and they're nice enough to let us get in and out of there without people having to check in and out of schools True. Um, for trainings. True. True. Uh, we're looking for places to have our host our training sites too. So if a business says, hey, I want to help out a little bit, but um, – you know, that's also more partnerships, more partnerships. Can't, can't beat that. Can't mm-hmm. beat that before. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Well, I was going to say, don't forget about, I wanted to mention our nonprofit side of Legacy Youth Mentoring, which supports all the events we have with kids, our big uh, annual gala and um, background checks um, and all sorts of things like that. Um, We have all the supplies, games and things that mentors do with kids in school and scholarships. So last year we gave four $1,000 scholarships to kids that were graduating. Um, And I love sending those checks to their colleges. I bet you do. I bet you do. The gala, before we get out of there, the gala is in April. You April. mentioned a- mm-hmm. April's your big event. We had 500 people there Nice um, at the Jackson County Agricultural Center. Good old Agricultural Devon Center. Gales was our speaker. Very nice and wonderful man. So the kids love, love, love getting to get out of the building and yeah. have lunch with their mentor. Lisa, what did we miss? We've been doing this for almost 30 minutes. Wow. I know. It boogies, let me tell you. (laughs) What did we miss? We covered a lot of really great stuff. We Mm -hmm. really, really did. I think we got the biggest thing is share. If you're sitting there thinking you're listening to this and you're like, well, I don't know if I can do it, but you probably do know somebody else that can do it. Yeah. Um, Or you could share it on your HOA site. Mm -hmm. Um, So there's, uh, I can, if you email me. Next door app that none of us like, but we're all addicted to. Yes. Lovely. You can can email me and any school in in our county if you go, I don't remember the website name, any school in your county is going to know about the mentoring program oh, yeah. and how to help you find us. I got you. Lisa, thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. It was well worth the wait. <laughs> You're a very busy lady. I'm lucky to have you in here for 30 I minutes. I have so many events where you know, we're welcoming all these mentors and kids back to the school, so it's kind of it. a busy time. I love it. So but we're gonna, it's good we're, to be here. We're going to get what, another 260 by when, end of the year? Yes, absolutely. All right. They'll have to build a bigger building for us in uh, Even Jackson better. County. Even better. For have our gala. All right, Jackson <laughs> County. The challenge has been put down. We need 260 more volunteers yes. in the next five months. Um, it's awesome. Thank you. Lisa, thank you for being here. Folks, LegacyYouthMentoring.org. Check it out, please. Get a hold of Lisa. I'm Tom Sheldon. Talk to you soon. <laughs>